Where is the 30 degree heat, people? Admittedly, it's a bit sunny in the UK, but I have just come back from Arizona. Arizona to see our partner, True Garden, which is the most immense visit. It was the most incredible greenhouse. And I'm kind of going, do you know what? It would be an amazing thing for you to come and see. So I've taken some footage of what we did there and I'm thinking, let's rock on. So welcome team. Well, I'm in a slightly different place than I was the last time I spoke to you. I am in Arizona. I am in a place called True Garden. And True Garden is just the most epic location. It's a 6,000 square foot, 520 square meter greenhouse. It is the oldest greenhouse for this type of growing in, uh, in the world, really. And um, Troy has done the most incredible job of forging a path for this type of growing in the industry. So behind me, you will see, I'll walk us around, you'll see that there are, uh, in here we've got 240 towers. Um, he used to have 400, but he's producing so many seedlings for the industry that um, he's actually assigning a bit more of the internal space to that now. So it's a pretty impressive setup and he's our partner in America. So we're very keen on involving True Garden in Europe and um, CVs will work alongside that to then produce seedlings. So, let me take you around the location so you can see quite what he's doing. It is spectacular. Behind me and around me, I'm surrounded by the most glorious level of seedlings. I mean, we do quite a few seedlings in the UK, don't get me wrong, but it is nothing compared to what Troy is doing over here. He's into the tens of thousands a month, right? He does them in a slightly different fashion. Don't know whether you can um, see that. That is a Coco Coya plug of which I'm going to bring over to the UK because it's organic, it's the perfect size for multiple different systems and it works incredibly well in really pushing those roots out and you can actually put it in your garden as well which is the slight difference with what we're doing. So seedlings, he's got a whole range, I mean just listing what I'm seeing here, we've got arugula, so coriander in the UK, brussels sprouts, beet greens, kale, He's got um, basil, four different types of basil. I mean, look at these. These are just magnificent, right? Little peas, amazing. And then a whole load of, we've got a pepper over here that's just growing extremely well. And they're little babies, right? But they're so strong. I tell you what he has that currently we don't, I say currently, I can't see it ever changing. Um, he has got, very beautiful ball of light up there that is um, just bringing that level of heat to a really good level. So um, anyway, let me go and now wander around and show you what else he's growing. Right, let's have a little look at this tomato plant. I mean, it's more like a tomato bush. I can't think of how many there are in there. I think he said there were about four plants in here. And I mean, if you look at that, there's, a, there's one growing down there. I mean, he continuously harvests this plot, this bush. It's been going for about five months, apparently, and is looking pretty damn good. Now, there was I questioning whether rosemary was appropriate for a tower. And here he has grown an absolute monster at the very top of his, moving down to oregano and on to mint. Come on, pull it out. Yes. So it's good. Yes. Yeah. Hold it aloft in the air like you're an Olympic athlete. So just looking at this greenhouse, right? At the end there, you can see what is called a wet wall. And a wet wall is the most brilliantly cost-effective, sustainable way of cooling the environment down. Those are chains in the background, those brown things, and those chains behind that are fans, intake fans. And at the top of the chains, there is water that is basically then, when the fan turns on, water starts dripping down through those chains and therefore atomizes as such and brings down the heat from outside at the moment in Arizona. It was, well, the, when I got in here, it was 98 degrees. In here now is 71 degrees, and that is the only cooling there is. It's quite extraordinary. So it sucks it down through there, and then 
you can see in the background the fan is running there so it's just one corridor of air going through it's amazing wow look at the hairy things on the end of that what are they called roots. yes <laughs> roots You like onions? Yes. Here, try this. <laughs> That's really good. Wow. Very good, baby. Very, very good. So what do you think, guys? That was pretty amazing, wasn't it? True Garden is at the very top of how you can grow vertically in towers. They've got 260 towers. It's just, he's been doing it for eight years. He's got it down to the absolute T. This, on the other hand, is a small micro farm and you can happily grow in your own circumstance with any level of different sizes of towers, different volume of towers. 